Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Watch and Roll. Today we will take a look at the reason why it's so difficult for watch companies to produce parts movement with a second hand aligned. So I'm gonna to explain to you. I used to think when I get a, a watch, a quartz watch, and the second hand doesn't align, so I would think it's something wrong with it, some faulty or quality control issue, and therefore I wanted to sell it and, and just get another one that was aligned. Uh, but I'm gonna to explain to you why it's not necessarily a mistake, it's actually something uh, partially on purpose. And the reason why it's necessary, I mean, I'm, just hold on, I'm gonna to explain to you. But anyway, I wanna show you here, I have three watches. By the way, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification button because I have this amazing uh, Seiko Marine Master Professional Tuna 300. This is a really, really amazing watch and I'm gonna have the full review, so stay tuned for that. So, I'm gonna show you first this Seiko Quartz uh, solar, if I remember well, is the SNE449 and this, this watch it's around $250, it's a, it's a fairly inexpensive watch, it's nonetheless it's a, you know, a very very capable diving watch, but take a look at the second hand, as you can see, the second hand doesn't quite lines up with the markers, right, it's like hair off um, if we do it like this if we put it on this angle you can see this is like the absolute way to make sure any hand aligns or not so we put it like this what I do is I align this pivot right here with whichever marker I want to compare so let's say uh, I'm gonna align this pivot with this marker right here so I, I align them and then I see this this way I can see absolutely if it aligns or not. So as you can see it doesn't align. And many times what we think the hand might look disaligned or aligned but based on for example the curvature of the crystal right here. So this has a dome crystal and Sometimes, because it's dumb on the edges right here, it might distort a little bit the position of the of the hand, making it seem like it's not aligning, but actually it is aligning. So the only way to make sure it definitely aligns or not is to put it on, on this angle. Align this pivot with the marker and see if it aligns or not. And as you can see, this one doesn't. So I'm going to show you another watch, which is this uh, Casio Oceanus. This watch has a second hand that aligns, as you can see, let me put it like that, as you can see it pretty much aligns every single time and it's dead on and um, this is one of the reasons why like um, many of us will go crazy for a quartz watch that has an aligned second hand. They give us a sense of quality and quality control and you know so um, anyway sometimes it looks like it doesn't but actually it does align every single time and the only way to tell is if you put it like this so it does align every single time so this is a very 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 nice watch even though it doesn't have any uh, well it actually has a system you know the Grand Seiko has a backlash auto adjustment uh, well, it's not an audio adjustment. It, it's a spring that forces the second hand to be in place. Uh, this one doesn't has that, but it has an LED auto adjustment feature, uh, which would be, you know, the equivalent to Grand Seiko's technology. Uh, but in the Oceanus, that um, every time it gets the signal, uh, actually no, it's not every time it gets the signal. Every some number of hours, the hands will realign and and have this uh, tech LED technology to make sure that the hands are actually where they're supposed to be. So, after that I'm gonna show you this other Seiko Marine Master Quartz and as you can see, this watch also aligns every single time um, this second hand, um, which is, you know, really amazing, you know, I just love a second hand that can align well. So, 
Uh, as you can see in this image I have right here, and this is the reason pretty much why it's so difficult for quartz watches to have a misaligned hand. And, and the reason why it's necessary actually, well, it's called a backlash. In these gears right here, this is the gears, imagine the second hand is connected to this gear right here. So there is a little bit of space between the teeth of the gears and um, there are several reasons why there is some space but this is basically the reason why sometimes it would not be aligned and some other in some other areas some other markers would appear as a line and it's because there is some space in between the teeth so this space makes the hand to to play around to move and just to cause the misalignment if you can understand physics so uh, the first reason for the space, it's on purpose. The factories design these sizes and these shapes of the gears on purpose. Uh, the first reason is for temperature. When the watch gets very hot, if you understand physics, the gears would expand. And if there wouldn't be any space between the gears, this would cause the gears to fracture you know this is also one of the reasons why there's some spaces in the sidewalk is because you know when the sun is hitting hard and as the blocks of concrete expand uh, they have some room to expand and they are not gonna crack so that's one reason the second reason is distortion which is um, let me show you as the gears are like this <laughs> this is kind of a silly example but anyway of the gears are moving they they require a little bit of space in between so the gears don't get stuck trying to move this so they move smoothly and freely so that's another reason the next reason is of course a shock resistance if there was no space in between the gears when a gear receives a shock the energy it's transmitted from gear to gear in the wheel train and it will cause damage it will cause fracture so as if when there is some space in between the gears this will make the some gears move and don't transmit the energy to other gears the next reason is wear resistance uh you know by creating a backlash it's easier for lubricants to get up in the gears and to of course preventing abrasion without this space in between the lubricants wouldn't be so efficient the last reason is uh you know part standardization uh, the parts in a watch are not all exactly the same strictly due to error despite an increase in machining accuracy to reduce error in the production of the parts they require the space so the production can accurately you know be produced more securely without errors so yeah in conclusion that's you know we might think it's a bad thing for quartz watches to have a misaligned hand when it's actually a kind of a little bit of a natural thing it doesn't mean that it's bad quality it's a necessary bad and you know uh, as the quartz gets a higher end then I would expect a second hand to be aligned uh, you know I mean there's several companies like Seiko is they have their backlash system uh, this one has a I think it's called a trimmer or something like that I, I think I, it has some uh, technology and it's just not just only for the technology but because of the quality of the quartz this is a very very high-end quartz so that's one of the reasons also why it's gonna be aligned be just because it's very high-end but um, I've seen Omegas with a misaligned second hand. I mean, it's, it's not. If it doesn't align, you're gonna know that it's not necessarily something terrible. But when you do get a watch with an aligned hand, then lucky you. It's cool, it's crazy. It probably is designed uh, with some feature like Grand Seiko with the backlash hand. Um, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, don't think too much about when you get a quartz watch if you don't get something really expensive don't expect you know a crazy accurate uh, second hand but don't focus too much on whether it's a line dead on or not focus more on the constant placement of the second hand meaning that if it's misaligned for a little bit it's okay as long as it's constant as long as it's always 
in that same position. I mean, like for example, this watch is constantly wrong, but constantly in that position. That talks good still about the quality of the watch. It's not like sometimes on the red, on the right side, sometimes on the left side. Uh, I've seen, you know, if you've seen some really cheap quartz watches, they tend to wobble and to be everywhere. Uh, but for example, with this one, uh, it doesn't really wobble. And I mean, when you unthread the crown and set the time, you can feel it's not like moving around and everything, you know. So this is still a good quality quartz watch. And so anyway, that's all I have for you today. And let me know if you have any questions, suggestions. Again, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to have the full review of this amazing Marine Master Tuna. And without anything further, I'll see you next video.